Hello, everybody. Um, so the next performer is me. <laughs> uh, I am going, I'm a poet, and I'm going to be reading a poem for you guys. Uh, I very rarely do uh, pieces that, uh, like, I guess, political poetry. But, uh, you know, the, the climate of the world that we live in, I wrote this piece when I was feeling kind of black and proud, and it was at a moment where we were told not to be black and proud, so I thought that I'd speak in my moment. Um, so, I hope you feel this. <laughs> I won't give up until hands up mean don't shoot, until I no longer have to guess if a little black boy laying in the street is Playing or praying or playing dead until we demand equality and stop accepting rights below humanity. I won't back down because our ancestors' spines were sculpted from gold. Our knees have evolved to balance the burdens of the world. Our wrists were crafted from the bonds caging freedom. I won't hide. I love my blackness before it was a trend. The tang in our slang tangled 20,000 years of untextbook tales. So don't ask me to apologize for the way that my syllables hang at the end of sentences. I won't forget. My reflection tells me of my grandpa and how his store in North Philly gave everyone in my family a job, and how our fingerprints blueprinted America. How I will be strong, because crying is a form of liquid prayer. Your tears speak life like amen after worship. Don't let anyone cower you for your emotions and Every time a waterfall wells under your eyelids, may your bodies feel like a baptism. I'm gonna fight with afros hovered over heads like halos and dreads dreaming in the breeze of our revolution. With all of my might, I'm gonna fight for every right. With fists raised like Asada, I vow to fight for freedom until everyone has tasted it. So keep moving on. Don't let dollar signs play shackles to your souls. Don't let propaganda pity for your self-worth. Remember that we were sculpted from gold. Let's show them that we all are the American dream. Thank you. Um, I'll read one more for you guys. It's about Philadelphia. Uh, I wrote it a few, a few years ago. Uh, it's titled That Join. Yeah, That Join. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I have to pull it. Oh. I just got it published this year, actually. Um, and I got another poem published about Philadelphia. It's not the same poem, but um, it is another poem about Philadelphia, and it's my third publication for the year. Uh, all right. <laughs> Broad Street is the aorta of my city. When I speak my name, you can feel the sect of Philadelphia on my skin. Nails knackered with cheese whiz and lips gloss with water ice. Loose cigarettes passed out like Jehovah's pamphlets. Bibles pressed the chest like a bulletproof vest. Um, excuse me, sir, but do you have a moment for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Fireworks are gunshots. They both fall from the sky like unanswered prayers. Paranoia loaded pistols. He told me that killing was the only thing that he was good at. Crosses crucified into skin with ink. No one can judge me but God. Jack Daniel's tongue tastes buds more than Jesus' name. He chimes his cup to the wind like crickets gossiping. His gloves are so tattered, you can play the guitar in his palm. His eyes are filled with the pain of forgetting. When these sidewalks were used for more than just sleeping, he's too honest to steal, too ugly for prostitution, too much pride for a homeless shelter. Another school is shut down, but a 
another jail is built. Fast forward out of funding, but there will always be a bed for you in federal prison. They got that tree out, but they ain't talking about oak. Lungs hazed and ash hash vapor. The alley's air smells like mango shampoo and piss. Cheap beer and cigars make for some weird times. Timberlands melt snow into icy pavements. Gum stains DNA into cement. The inverse patterns look like stars lying lazily against navy nights. My streets are speaking a secret language that replaces every word in your dictionary with John. Broad Street Bullies is the only form of bullying that we will ever tolerate. This neighborhood was my first stage. Street lights were spotlights turning abandoned grounds into more mural backgrounds. Hoodies fixed on heads like crowns. Bodies are tatted up like subways. Melanin colored houses. Our buildings are wearing graffiti like it's our medal of honor. My city is what makes me a social stigma. But if you peel back the dirt, you will all see a diamond. This hood is my home. Broad Street is the aorta of my city. My heart beats a flat line when I can no longer feel the scent of Philadelphia on my skin. Thank you. All right. <laughs>